It's been a journey of epic proportions, spanning more than a decade and a six billion kilometer chase through the solar system. And now the day has finally come. The Rosetta unmanned spacecraft will launch a robot laboratory called Phile and attempt to land it on a comet for the first time in history. This is the comet. It's roughly a one in thousand model. So the real thing is thousand times bigger. The landing site is, is roughly here, which we're aiming for to deliver the lander. It's the flattest part we could find. Designed by the European Space Agency, the 100 kilogram laboratory will touch down on Comet 67P, known as Churyumov Gerasimenko, harpooning itself to the surface as the comet orbits the sun at 135,000 kilometers per hour. If successful, Philae's 10 instruments will spend the next year taking pictures and analyzing the physical and chemical composition of the surface. Philae is the icing on the cake. The cake is Rosetta that has been nearing this comet for a year and a half. Philae will take tons of measurements and samples from the comet, perhaps most important of which will be the molecular analysis of the carbon-rich soil in certain areas of the comet. It is one of those areas where we'll try to land. Astrophysicists believe that comets are made of ancient ice and dust, left over from the formation of the solar system, like 4.6 billion-year-old time capsules hurtling through space. One theory is that they hold complex carbon molecules that helped seed life on early Earth. We're sort of looking back in time to, um, you know, what happened at the very birth of, uh, of the solar system and the creation of a planet like the Earth, uh, which ultimately spawned life. And uh, going to a comet present day allows you to do that by looking back in time at a remnant of the process that stayed like that ever since that formation period. It will take Philae seven hours to travel from the Rosetta orbiter to the comet, and scientists will begin gathering data as soon as it is released. The modern day space odyssey is expected to end in December 2015. But for now, scientists are simply hoping for a smooth landing.